On your stocks today, we have Vishal Malkan who joins in to answer all our stock queries and Gajendra Kothari joins in as our personal finance expert. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Thanks much for joining in. Uh, first up, we have a caller, Pramod, uh, who's called us from Pune and he wants to talk about his investment in ONGC. Hi. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, this is Pramod. Uh, I have 500 shares of ONGC at 397. Uh, my perspective is for more uh, one year. Okay, so and... Uh, shall, I consult, shall I buy more or... Okay. Uh, Vishal, what's the advi uh, uh, advice on ONGC? It's, uh, you know, there's been so much volatility in the crude space and, you know, all of these companies have been hurting because of that. But is this a good time for someone to be averaging their investment there? I would definitely say no to averaging or losing trade, but def uh, I would say the damage in the price has already been done and we look at some consolidation at 323.30 levels in ONGC. So I think that those levels should hold for some time and with that stop loss we can hold on for if he's the view for one year then definitely I think he will get his price or much better than his price in the coming one year. All right, then. So maybe some consolidation uh, post that big correction that we had on ONGC. So at these levels, 323.30, maybe in fact the downside risk is limited. But um, we have another caller who's already standing by. So Sudeep calls us from Kolkata. He has a personal finance query. Hi, Sudeep. Yeah, hi. Actually, I want to invest 50000 for six to seven months. So which mutual, mutual fund should I invest? All right, Sudeep, you're looking to invest a one-time amount of around fifty to 60000 Yes, yes, yes. All right, then, uh, Gajender, uh, could you help him out? He's looking to put some money in mutual funds, uh, fifty to sixty thousand. Uh, could you help him out? Yeah. Uh, Sudeep, hi. Uh, since you are first time investing in mutual funds, and you've never early invested in mutual funds, so I would suggest you to start with low risk investments. And because you want to invest fifty thousand as a lump sum, and your time horizon is six months. Uh, in, in your given circumstances, the only fund which we can recommend is the ultra short term funds, which are kind of very low risk, uh, low return funds. The idea is to beat the fixed deposit returns and uh, liquidity is the main uh, key here. So a couple of funds I would like to recommend here, uh, if your horizon is six months or so. One is the UTS short term income fund and another one is the Franklin Templeton Savings Plus Fund. Now both these funds invest in short term fixed instruments like government of India bonds or fixed deposits of the banks and uh, you're likely to beat uh, the fixed deposit returns by margin and uh, liquidity is a factor so you can you can choose to invest in any of these uh, investments. Basant uh, calls us and in fact he has some investments in IRB Infra. Hi Basant. Hi sir. Hi how can we help you? What is your question? Sir, my question is IRB I have 280 50 share. Ooh, okay. Sir, I have to hold it for 6 months. Okay. All right. Can we can do some averaging or wait for Okay. Um, Vishal, uh, here's a query that in fact he's bought at 280. The stock has been doing very well, but suddenly after yesterday's negative news, we've seen the stock is under pressure. It's currently at around the 240-odd level. He's got 50 shares. He's okay with averaging as well. He's got a 6-month time horizon. What do you think he should do? Yeah, IRB, if you see the, it's trading between the range of 280 and 220 in the last six months and unfortunately has bought at the higher band of the price and uh, so I would say if he wants to uh, hold on, he should hold on with a stop loss of 220. Definitely again not advised to average any lo losing trade. All right, uh, uh, that's a sound advice actually because, uh, you know, averaging on the downside sometimes can be quite tricky. But up next we have a uh, query that has been sent to us by G.S. Jalani who writes to us from Gurgaon and he wants to know whether NRIs receive any tax benefits by investing in mutual funds. So, Gajendra, what I guess he's referring to is uh, the ATC. Uh, can you tell us what are the particular investments on which they can receive uh, these tax benefits? Yeah, so NRIs like resident Indians uh, can invest in uh, mutual funds and are entitled to the same kind of taxation benefits which the resident individuals get. So if they are investing in uh, equity mutual funds and their horizon is over one year, they don't have to pay any tax on these investments. Uh, apart from this, they get also benefit under Section ATC, wherein uh, up to 1.5 lakh if they can invest in the tax-saving mutual funds, uh, they don't have to pay any tax on this amount. 
Now, so far, all NRI investors could do this, but recently what has happened, the US-based NRI investors can no longer invest in Indian mutual funds. The Indian mutual funds have stopped accepting new investments from them because of the new provision called FATCA, which is nothing but Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act. It's a new anti-tax evasion law which has been uh, kind of you know uh, started by US wherein all authorities worldwide are supposed to report income of US residents to the US authorities so because of this apprehension and because India is a signatory uh, to this agreement so Indian mutual funds are supposed to follow this and they are supposed to report this uh, report the investments of all US residents to the US authorities in a particular format and because of this apprehension all of as of now most of the mutual funds have stopped accepting new investments from them there's also speculation in the market that many mutual funds may be redeeming uh, the units to comply with the act because they don't want to get into trouble uh, with the US authorities with regard to the non-compliance of this so US investors at this moment can't invest in Indian mutual funds uh, we'll have to wait for further clarity and then uh, maybe after some time it can be resumed again our uh, next caller is Abhishek Jain. He calls us in Pune and he has some investments in Idea Cellular. Hi, Abhishek. Uh, I'm sir. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I'm holding a Idea Cellular 250 shares in six years. Okay. Uh, cost is around 70 rupees. Mm. Okay. And this is one stock. Second stock is the uh, first solution, okay. which I'm also holding since uh, three, four years. Average size is 30. Okay. And uh, total shares are 800. So my question is, what should be done for both of the shares? Should I hold or sell? All right, Abhishek, you're making uh, quite a bit of money on this uh, idea trade. The other stock you said was first source. It's first source solution. First source solution. I bought at uh, 30. Average price is 30. Okay. All right, you bought uh, that at 30 rupees. All right, uh, Vishal, he's got a couple of stocks on idea. In fact, that one has been one of those underperformers, but. Um, uh, he's making good money on that one and on the other one is uh, first source as well. Uh, that stock should come up for you as well. What should he do? I guess uh, uh, he's making a good profit, but if you see in the last uh, few months when the market rallied, it is underperforming in terms of return. So I would say uh, if you can switch between the, within the same sector from Idea to Tatacom, it would be a good bet where Tatacom looks at a good breakout on multi-year charts and where we can see a good potential of around 550 uh, in, the, in the next 12 months. So I think he should switch from Idea to Tatacom. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have uh, data for first source. It mm. would be difficult to comment on that. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, so uh, let's get the next caller in. Raju Sharma calls in from Surat. Hi, Raju. Uh, hello, ma'am. Uh, my name is Raju Sharma. I'm mm. Surat. I'm from 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 Surat. Okay. मुझे भी 5000 रुपीस और इन्वेस्टमेंट करना था तो मुझे आपसे सजेशन जानना था कि कौन से फंड में करूं मेरा व्यूज लगभग 3 इयर्स का है ओके गजेंद्र व्हाट्स योर एडवाइस राजू जी जो आपका पोर्टफोलियो है अभी वो प्योरली स्मॉल एंड मिड कैप स्पेस में है आपने फ्रैंकलिन स्मॉल एंड मिड कैप फंड में इन्वेस्ट किया है और आईसीसी स्मॉल एंड मिड कैप में किया है ये काफी हाई रिस्क हाई रिटर्न फंड है क्योंकि आपने कहा है कि आपका टाइम होराइजन सिर्फ तीन साल है तो मैं आपको रेकमेंड करूंगा कि आप कोई एक बैलेंस फंड में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए जहां पे इट्स लो वोलाटाइल रहेगा और लो वोलाटाइल लो रिस्क है तो अगर आपका तीन साल का होराइजन है तो एसआईपी के जरिए आप जो पांच हजार रूपये लगाना चाहते हैं अगर आप इसमें निवेश करें जैसे बैलेंस फंड मैंने आपको बताया आईसीआईसी बैलेंस एडवांटेज फंड या फिर एच बैलेंस फंड ये दो काफी अच्छे फंड हैं और करीबन लगभग आपको बारह से पंद्रह के बीच में आप रिटर्न एक्सपेक्ट कर सकते हैं फर्दर मैं आपको मिड कैप फंड में लगाने के लिए आ, मैं सुझाव नहीं दूंगा क्योंकि तीन साल की जो अवधि है बहुत कम होती है और इस कम पीरियड में इतना रिस्क लेना आ, सही यू नो एक इन्वेस्टमेंट स्ट्रेटेजी नहीं है तो आप ये दो फंड में एसआईपी कर सकते हैं और बने रह सकते हैं All right, then some valid advice uh, coming in there. But pull up the Nifty. We are at the low point of the day. If we are down close around 210 points, the Sensex is down close around 720 points. It's not looking good at all. Pull up a couple of heavyweights. The likes of LNT should come up for you, as well as HDFC. Both of them are seeing intense selling pressure in the last uh, few minutes. And in fact, JSPL, the stock that's been doing very well, it's given up all those gains because it's down mm. close to around uh, 6% or even PNB should come up for you. So pull up LNT. 
HDFC. Both of them have good weightage. Both of them have moved to the low point of the day. They've dragged the index lower. And JSPL, PNB, Cessa, Sterlite, as well as Bank of Baroda, all of them are seeing intense selling pressure, not looking good at all. The Sensex is down a good 700 points as well. But uh, our final credit today is, comes in from Vishal. Uh, he writes to us, in fact, he has 10 shares of Infosys at 1,965 rupees. He wants to know whether or not he should hold or sell the stock. Uh, Vishal, what's your take on Infosys? Definitely a hold, and it's uh, already making good profits, and it's uh, one of the top stocks in in the market as well as in the sector. So I would definitely uh, recommend a hold. Uh, of course, he can put a, a trailing stop loss of around uh, 1870 or 1890. In case that level breaks, then we can see some more downside. All right, that's the word on emphasis. Vishal, any disclosures? I don't have any positions in the stocks which we discussed today. All right, uh, Vishal and Gajendra, thanks uh, so much for joining in 